Born in America. DJ Wonder Chrissy. Wait a minute, I gotta get my coffee. I can't do this without my coffee. And you can tell what today is. Look at there, guys. We got the special mug for the special day. It's Hooters Day. Yeah. Every day's Hooter Day here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the show on the road. All right. Elevators need rock, too. That's the name of this tune. Let's bring it down and let's get going with the show. We got a, I don't know. Let's first do an update on the migrants because I did see yesterday there's some wrangling going on. Um, they came out with some new numbers for the migrants. Um, they're down to 17 shelters. And 8,000 in the shelter. So they got 17 shelters. We normally, we had like 28 or 29 at one point. So they've closed down a lot of the park district uh, shelters and some other places. They're down to 8,000 people in the shelters and 80, 80 newcomers awaiting placement in a shelter. So, uh, that's the newest update. And also there, there's some grumblings that they're trying to close. Um, the st it's called the Standard Club, and I think it's downtown in the, you know, um, oh, maybe the, the Michigan Avenue area or downtown in the Loop, one of those two. But anyway, there's a, a hotel called the Standard Club that has 900 people. And I guess there's been a lot of crime and nonsense going on outside that. And it's in the tourist area. So um, they're trying to get that out of there because when the DNC comes to town, they don't want any problems, if you know what I mean. They don't want people to see the migrants in the normal tourism areas where a lot of the DNC people are going to be hanging out. So uh, Brandon's trying to figure out a solution. He was trying to open up a new shelter in the 11th Ward, but that uh, fell through the cracks for some reason. So we'll keep our eye on that as he tries to clean up the city a little bit uh, before the DNC hits in the middle of August. And... Um, there's a lot of talk about the DNC now here in Chicago as we're having some of those uh, anti-Israeli protesting going on at the campuses. They just cleaned up one at the University of Chicago, which is in the Hyde Park, down by where Obama used to live. And uh, they just cleaned that one up. Um, there was one, maybe one at DePaul maybe one at UIC. So they're they're trying to clamp down on some of these protests and uh, keep it under control because if they can't control these protests, they sure the hell aren't going to be able to handle the protesting that goes on during the DNC. And I'm telling you now, there's going to be a lot of protesting. These groups have already filed for their permits. So you have to have a permit to protest in Chicago. But they're fighting back because they want to do the protest the city wants the protesting to, hand, uh, to be done in the loop and not within eyes or ear throw of the United Center where the protesters really want to be. They want to be heard. So uh, there's some, there's some uh, legal wranglings going on about that in Chicago. and um, So enough about that. This is the real... 
the real one I'm concerned with. Uh, this hit the news yesterday. I think it might have happened over the weekend. This hits too close to home. Um, it's uh, just a town or two north of me. Um, this happened, and this just shows how crazy things have gotten um, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, let's me, let me finish up this, and uh, let me get this ready for you guys. Uh, and um, this is, this is, um, this is a sad state of affairs and where we've come to. So listen to this. There's a, a lady who was 59 years old, was walking her dog in the park. And some guy from Wisconsin, I don't know if he's homeless or what, that said he's originally from West Allis, which is located close to Milwaukee. Um, just for no reason, unprovoked, just beat the living daylights out of her. And... Um, her and an innocent bystander who tried to help. He saw this happening and tried to help, and both the lady and the innocent bystander ended up in the hospital. The lady, the lady had to be flown to a medical center because the hospital, you know, treated her for the initial stuff, but she was really messed up, folks. I'm telling you, this, this, is, this is scary. This happened in the middle of the day. It wasn't even wasn't even nighttime out this happened in the middle of the day i believe so um let's take a listen to this report and um, this is why i tell you to keep your head on a swivel and you got to be prepared at all times folks even when you're walking in the park with your dog Good to have you with us. I'm Joe Donnell. We begin here at 5 with a frightening attack at a northwest suburban park. And now a woman and a good Samaritan who came to her aid are in the hospital. Police see a man out walking his dog randomly attack the woman. His dog also biting her several times. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos is in McHenry with new details on what happened. I also heard the, the, guy, that, the, the guy they mentioned walking his dog. Well, the dog was off the leash. Um, that's the other part that I heard that they're not referencing here. I have never heard of anything like that that's happened here before. I mean, it's it's bizarre. Rick Wegman says he's at Peterson Park two to three times a week, and even on the busiest and sunniest days, he's never seen an altercation or even as much as an argument take place. So to hear that a brutal attack involving a dog happened right here in his backyard is hard to believe. It was probably a fluke incident, but um, I will certainly keep my eyes open, but... Uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a dog owner. I have three dogs, big dogs. But, uh, yeah, never, never. I'll, I'll be here tomorrow. McHenry police say it happened Sunday at around 3.30 p.m. Where a 59-year-old... 3.30 on a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And we just drove by this yesterday. So <laughs> I, I caught this late last night and was totally shocked. A woman was walking her dog on a leash when she crossed paths with a man walking his dog that wasn't on a leash. And at some point, police say he brutally attacked her, stomping, kicking, and striking her head and neck several times, attempting to strangle her. His dog also biting her multiple times. That man has been identified as 47-year-old Raymond Link. He lives west of Milwaukee. The attack itself that happened in broad daylight, cops say, was unprovoked as both Link... Keep in mind, we're two hours probably an hour 45 minutes at best from milwaukee so i don't know what he was doing down here and the victim who we have learned is a local realtor did not know each other see a lot of families come here and you know i come biking through here all the time and it's just kind of shocking and terrifying that something like that happened here police say a good samaritan intervened that person a 37 year old man attempted to help her but he was seriously injured also getting bit by the dog and suffered a broken clavicle in the confrontation both victims were hospitalized and treated for their injuries link was placed in custody his dog after running from the park now in the custody of McHenry county animal control link is charged with attempted murder two counts of agri they're throwing the book at this guy attempted murder that's kind of hard to get so but he almost he almost he almost did her in um i don't know if they'll mention um all the 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 issues she had but we'll, we'll let it play and then we'll talk about it on the other side